Yo, it's Big Fan Breezy with the Brooklyn Net Vlog. Bear with me, I know it's late, but this is about the Summer League game. We lost by seven, and when you look at the statistics, we lost by seven, and they hit seven more three-pointers in us. So, case in point is, you know, we got to knock down our three balls, and it was pretty much one player that was going off. I think his name is Bane, and, you know, I want to focus on the defensive side of the ball before we talk about offense, because as a Nets fan, offense ain't really an issue for us. Now, that being said, I like Dayron Sharp. I like that big man that we got. I can see him being an essential piece. Him and Blake, they're going to get along well. I can see him and Blake. And I've seen a breakdown of the player, Raekwon Gray. He didn't get a chance to play today. But I want to see him on the defensive side of the ball, too. For the most part, I feel like those are the two guys that we could focus on on the defensive side of the ball with Raekwon Gray and, uh, and Dayron Sharp. Um, on the offensive side of the ball, we got this guy named Q. I think his name is like Quindary or something like that. And that's his first name. And it's like, I forget his second name. I'm saying Richardson because I'm thinking Quentin Richardson, but it's not Quentin Richardson. His name is Quindary or something like that. I forget how to say his name. He went off today. He didn't shoot well, particularly well. I think he shot under a 500 clip. Him and Cam Thomas shot under a 500 clip. But Cam Thomas is a bucket getter. He could go out there, create his own shot, and he could draw fouls and get to the line. I like Cam Thomas. I like Sharp. I like what I've seen out of those guys. I wanted to see Kessler play. We got another uh, summer league game coming up, I think, today or tomorrow or really soon. And I'm a, hopefully, we, you know, he could get in then and play. And, again, Reggie Perry, man, he had, like, 12 boards. He shot horrible. He was 2 for 10. But at the same time, you got to go with the plus. You know, he's good. Um, I forget the names offhand, but I'm going to go over the ones that I remember. Again, Perry, I thought he was solid. And I think he should focus more on being a scrappy player, not necessarily trying to create his own shot. Unless, you know, maybe today was just an off game. But we'll see. Let's not, you know, open. let's not close the book on Perry creating his own offense yet. It's the summer league. It's the first game. Let's not, you know. Be heavy on these guys. Um, like I said, uh, Cam Thompson, Cam Thomas. I I like him. I like I like what he brings to the table. I think on the offensive side of the ball and somebody like in a second unit that we might need to go out there and create their own shot. He's going to be our guy. You know, we I can't see if he's going to be a one or a two when he plays with the Nets, but he's somebody that I know that's going to make the roster. Based on that, sharp going to make the roster. I want to see if Marcus Zagowski is going to make the roster. He looks like a sharp shooter. You know, um, Kessler Edwards, I want to see if he makes the roster. He, he's a 3 and D guy, you know what I mean? He's known for his defense, and I've seen his highlights. He goes to the basket, you know what I'm saying? Um, it was another guy, David Duke. We're going to call him D-squared because, again, we're not for racism, and, you know, he has the same name as a famous racist guy. So let's we'll just call him D-squared, and, you know, he put up a few shots. And, you know, again, I want to see more of him. But who I personally was focused on was Elise or Alize Johnson because I felt like he should have got more minutes in the playoffs, and he did. His debut, he had like 21 and 22, like 21 points and 20 boards. So that was a record in the third net to do it when he did it. And, again, he had the least amount of shots, but like almost the most amount of points. He shot like seven. No. He shot seven times, and he had 13 points. The only players that outscored him was Cam Thomas and the, the guy Q. Uh, let's just call him Q. And both of them are guards. And the significance of that is that AJ, let's call him AJ, Elise Johnson, let's call him AJ, he only shot the ball uh, seven times. Cam Thomas and uh, uh, Q, they shot the ball well over seven times. I'm talking about maybe 15 times. And they just outscored Elise Johnson. So what I see thus far in the summer league is that AJ can create his own basket. Um, he's somebody that should be in a high in the roster rotation over all of these rookies. Right now, just going forward, I like D-squared. I like, I, listen, I like D-squared, I like AJ, I like Cam Thomas, and I like Sharp. And Perry, 
I want to see more of Perry before I say I like him. But I think we played a good game. We lost by seven. And I want to see Nash still continue to look for two-point shots. You know, we didn't shoot particularly well from uh, the, the field, you know, uh, the two-point shots, field goals. And we weren't good behind three. We just had a bad shooting night. You know what I mean? And, uh... Again, I don't want to win and lose games based on our offense. And I think that's why we got other guards like Javon Carter. We got Bembry. And we got a whole, uh, like, a two, three other players that can't, uh, are consistent with the defensive side of the ball. More defense. And then they'll maybe knock down a three. But these are not guys that we, these are pieces that we added for defense. So look for the new Nets. Making teams, making it tough to score. We were like 20-something. I think 27th, maybe 25 to 27th or something like that in defense last season. Before the All-Star break, I expect a dramatic change. I expect us to step up on the defensive side of the ball. And I look for us to be in the top 15 teams as far as defenses. I need, we got to get from 20 to 30. We can't be in that bracket. If we're going to start the season like that, it's going to be hard. And teams are going to exploit us the same way they did last year. And we can't have that. That's the significance of us going to get sharp, Raekwon Gray. And I think we're going to add more pieces along the way. This is only a recap of the first summer league game. Let's not be too much on this side or that side. Let's see what go. Let's see what happens. You know what I'm saying? This is big fan breezy with the Brooklyn Nets vlog. Peace.